Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss expectation maximization algorithm in machine learning with a simple solved example. Expectation maximization or EM algorithm is a popular technique for estimating the parameters of probabilistic models. Many popular models like hidden Markov model, Gaussian mixtures, Kalman filters uses EM technique. It is beneficial whenever we are working with the data that is incomplete or it has some missing data points. In the previous video, I have discussed expectation maximization algorithm in detail. Link for that video is given in the description below. In this video, I will discuss uh, how can we apply EM technique on the given data set and then calculate the probabilistic values here. Now, uh, to understand this particular EM algorithm, I have considered the coin flipping problem here. In this case, I have taken two coins. C1 is the first coin and C2 is the second coin. The bias of C1 is equal to theta1. That is nothing but the probability of getting heads with C1. Uh, bias of C2 is equal to theta2 that is nothing but probability of getting heads with C2 in this case. Now uh, what is the goal of this particular uh, problem is to calculate the value of theta1 and theta2 by performing number of trials or you can say that the experiments over here. Now what I will do is uh, in the first experiment I will choose one of this particular coin uh, 5 times and then I will toss that particular coin uh, 10 times over here. In the first iteration I have selected the B second iteration I have selected coin A and so on and then I have tossed this particular coin 10 times I am getting some different values for head and tail. Now based on these particular values we can cal easily calculate the theta 1 and theta 2. The theta 1 is equal to number of heads using C1 divided by the total number of flips. Theta 2 is nothing but number of heads using C2 divided by total number of uh, flips here. So that is a simple uh, formula what we have. Now how can we calculate that particular theta 1 and theta 2? Now, uh, what we need to do is we need to count the number of heads and tails with respect to coin A and coin B. Based on those particular values, you can easily calculate it. So, for the first experiment, if you see here, uh, there are uh, five heads are there and five tails are there. Because it's a coin B, I have written those particular five head and five tails over here. If you consider second one, uh, we have uh, nine heads are there and one tail is there and it's a coin A. So, that's the reason I have written it here. Similarly, we have to write it for the remaining things. Once you have done these particular things, we need to add all these particular heads and tails. For coin A, we have 24 heads and 6 tails. For coin B, we have 9 heads and 11 tails here. Now, based on these particular values, you can easily calculate the theta 1 value here. Theta 1 is equal to total number of heads divided by total number of flips here. That is 24 divided by 24 plus 6, which is equal to 0.8. The second one, that is for coin B, theta 2 is equal to number of heads is 9 divided by 9 plus 7, which is equal to 0.45 here. Now, what is the meaning of this 0.8 and 0.45? Point 0.8 is nothing but whenever you toss coin A, there is a 80% chance that you will get head in this particular case and remaining 20% of the time you will get tail. What is the meaning of this particular 0.45? Whenever you toss coin B, there is a 45% chance that you will get head, remaining 55% of the time you will get tail in this case. Now in this case, we know this particular uh, experiments, there are five experiments are there. For each and every experiment, we know which particular coin was chosen. Because of that, we can easily calculate the theta 1 and theta 2 over here. But let us say that we have done this particular experiments five times again, but we don't know the labels here. If you don't know the labels over here, it's very difficult to create uh, fill this particular table. If you are unable to fill this particular table, you cannot calculate theta 1 and theta 2. Because if you see here, this particular experiment, where to write the number of heads and tails here? Whether should I write it over here or should I write it over here? That's a question. In the previous case, we know that this is coin B. We have written it here. But in this case, we don't know this particular label. Because of that, it is not possible to write over here or over here. And because it is not possible, we cannot calculate theta 1 and theta 2. That is what the problem we will face whenever we don't know this particular labels here. Now, how can you solve this particular problem is we can apply the EM algorithm and then we can easily solve this particular problem with the EM algorithm. Now, what we do over here is uh, we will consider the same experiments five times, but there is no label here. For that reason, uh, this is the entire uh, uh, the workflow of this particular EM algorithm. It has uh, totally four steps. We will start with the first step here because we don't know the value of theta A and theta B. Theta A is uh, the bias of coin A. Theta B is the bias of coin B here. Now, what we do here is we will assign some random values or the random probabilities initially. 0.6 is uh, theta A, 0.5 is theta B. You can choose any other values. For this particular calculation, I have chosen these two numbers here. So this is the first step. It will be done only once. Now this particular second step, what we need to do is we need to give this as an input to your experiments or the trials 
and then we need to calculate the probability of this particular experiment belonging to coin A and probability that it belongs to coin B. That is what we need to calculate here. Now, uh, why, how to do that part, I think? We need to use something known as uh, a binomial uh, theorem or the binomial distribution we need to use. I will consider this particular second uh, experiment and then I will try to explain how these particular values were calculated here. That is, the probability of this particular experiment, uh, A is chosen. In this particular case, there are nine heads are there and one tail is there. So that's the reason uh, N, C, X, N is the number of heads and X is the number of, you can say that, uh, tails over here. Theta A raised to X, 1 minus theta A raised to N in this particular case. Now, theta A is known to us. Uh, if you put this particular values, you will be able to calculate this probability. Similarly, we have to calculate that uh, this experiment belongs to uh, B coin. In this case, we need to use theta B over here. Now, if you put all those particular values, theta A, 1 minus theta A, theta B and theta 1 minus theta B, you will get 0 0.036 and 0 0.009 as the likelihood probabilities here. That is, this particular experiment belongs to a, a coin A. Uh, probability of this particular experiment belongs to coin uh, B in this particular case. Again, these are the likelihood probabilities. If you want to calculate the actual probabilities, probability that this coin belongs to A, given this particular experiment is 0 0.036 is the numerator divided by sum of those two things, which is equivalent to 0 0.8. Similarly, we need to calculate the probability that this is coin B given the experiment that is nothing but 0 0.009 divided by sum of these two things, which is 0 0.2. So that is what we have done in this particular case and we have calculated these two values here. Similarly, we have to calculate for other experiments also. I have shown it only for the second experiment. We have to do it for all the other experiments also. Once you calculate this particular uh, probabilities, like 80% of the time it belongs to coin A, 20% of the time it belongs to B here. So once you calculate these body things, uh, as said earlier, in the previous case, we know the label. That's the reason we have written this number of heads and tails in only those particular columns. But in this particular case, we don't know whether this particular uh, experiment belongs to A and B. So that's the reason we write the number of heads and tails in both these particular columns here. Now the question comes in front of us, how to write these particular values? It's very simple. What we need to do is we know this particular probability that is 0.45. If you want to know the number of heads and tails, we need to multiply the number of heads and tails here. So we have uh, five heads here and then five tails here. This is the number of heads and this is the number of tails. So what we do is the number of heads multiplied by 0.45, that is number of heads here. Number of tails multiplied by uh, this particular 0.45, that is the number of heads, which is equal to 2.2, 2.2 in this case. Similarly, number of heads are 5, number of tails are 5 here. We need to multiply it to 0.55 here, which is equal to 2.8 and 2.8 respectively. Similarly, we have to do it for all other experiments. We need to count the number of heads and tails. We need to multiply it to probability. You will get the number of heads and tails for that particular coin. Once you have done these things, what is the next thing we have done here? We need to add all those particular heads and tails. We have done the same thing over here also. Once you add all these things, what we need to do is we need to calculate the maximization step. That is nothing but what we have started with this particular uh, theta and theta b. Theta a1, theta b1 is nothing but after the first iteration, number of heads divided by total number of uh, uh, this particular flips, 21.3 uh, divided by 21.3 plus 8.6, which is equal to 0.71. Second one is 11.7 divided by 11.7 plus 8.4, which is equal to 0.58 here. So we have started with 0 0.6 and 0 0.5 as theta a and theta b. After the first iteration, we got these particular values. Now, once you get these particular values, uh, we need to check the values with respect to the previous iteration. So this is the current iteration. This is the previous iteration. If there is no significant change, let us say that we got 0 0.6 over here and 0 0.5 here. There is no significant change. The meaning of this one is 0 0.6 and 0 0.5 are the correct values. But in this case, you can see here. Here we have 0 0.6. Now we have here 0 0.71. The meaning is there is a difference in this case. So what we need to do is we need to start with these new values as theta a and theta b. And then we need to apply the expectation step, calculate all these particular probabilities. And then we need to calculate the number of heads and tails. And then we need to calculate theta a second iteration, theta, theta b after second iteration here. Now, once you get those particular probabilities, you need to compare against the previous uh, iteration probabilities. And uh, if they are there is no significant difference, uh, we can stop here. If there is a significant difference, we need to repeat it again and again. If you repeat it 10 times in this particular case, you will be getting the uh, final theta a and theta b values with no difference with respect to previous iteration. 
so whatever the values we got in the ninth iteration are almost similar to 10th iteration values here that is 0 0.80 and 0 0.520 here so what it says is this is the last step or you can say that the converging step or also called as the terminating step over here so if the meaning of this particular 0 0.80 is whenever you toss coin a there is a possibility that 80 percent of the time you will get head whenever you toss coin b there is a possibility that you will get uh, uh, head for 52 percent of the time over here so that is what the meaning of or the significance of this particular final values here so in this video i have discussed uh, how can we apply em algorithm on a given data set so that you can calculate the probabilistic values here so i hope the concept of uh, em algorithm is clear if you like this particular video do like and uh, share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching